What's up, comicbook.com? BD here. And I'm Chris Killian. And we're together in one video. For a very special occasion, too. It's like it's 30 years in the making or something. It's... Oh, no, it's not that... That's we're pretty, not that old yet, but, but it's getting close. You get it. You, but this you is... Get it. Yeah. This, I'm very excited for this. You yeah. know, 30 years in the making. This is... I'm old enough to remember... <laughs> when this originally came out. So I genuinely have been waiting for this for a long time. And this is one of the coolest things that we've got here, I think. And that, we haven't even opened it yet. No, we haven't yeah. opened it yet. All right, guys, this, this is an unboxing video. So welcome to the show, welcome to the program. We have McFarland Toys sent us. Should we just, let's just crack it open and give a little it's, peeky peek. Ooh, it's look at that. Beautiful as I knew it was going to be. Look at that. Chris, you want to tell them what this is? So this is a, this is the Batwing, uh, simply put. It's just, <laughs> yeah. it's the Batwing. Keaton's right. Batwing, as Keaton's it will Batwing. appear, in the flash now there it has been um modernized updated yeah. just a little bit it's not exactly like the original 89 batman as you can see the the old bat wing was like shaped like the actual batman symbol this is a little bit sleeker than that yeah. um i don't hate it it's just i think they hit the right tone with it not that that has anything to do with what mcfarlane has done here because they're just recreating yeah. what they've done in the movie but I, good... I've seen this thing in action in the movie too, and it makes sense that it would be updated because it's not only is it not really like in Tim Burton's world, mm -hmm. like it's kind of in the like a ver like I don't know, it's the multiverse, but right. it doesn't really look like that Gotham City we saw 30 years ago. Yeah, it's more of a modern look surrounding Keaton's Batman, so it makes sense that the Batwing would evolve and would fit into this world and not be that stylized in the same way. The only question is, does it still look good in front of a full moon? <sighs> Listen, yeah, I mean, you've seen the trailers, too. It looks good. I'm trying not to watch the trailers, to be uh, honest. Well, I've watched enough of the trailers to know that I'm in, and I'm there, and I don't want to know anything else. It has some of the dopest, like, Batwing action. There's <sighs> shots in the movie that are just straight up, like, out of a comic book. Like, people are going to have them as their background on their mm -hmm. computer, on their phone and stuff. It's cool. Uh, and this thing is about to be, I don't know where we're going to put it once out of the box, but I hopefully, think it's going to be just as cool. Hopefully it's going to be at my house, but, I mean, that's why I'm here, because I hear you get to keep Ooh. some of the unboxing things. But oh, if yeah. not, I might just call my good buddy Todd McFarlane and have him send me one. Secretly, that's really like the big reason I keep this job is because every once in a while we get something cool. Every right now. now and then we get to just keep like something this. really cool. And uh, I get to take it home, but sometimes Jim is just like, oh, Now, I what I didn't know about this until we started like digging into is this, this is actually big enough to fit some of the other McFarlane DC Multiverse action figures, which is awesome. Yeah, I think that's one of the coolest things because uh, as a collector of different figures, when you get an accessory that's this cool, and the fact that it allows you to use your multiverse figures and put them in the cockpit mm -hmm. and, and pose them and sit them with it, that's a huge plus. Oh, okay. That's, that's okay, gonna we are going to have to required. assemble. This thing is okay. huge. Look this at is, this. This is what's the, the first thing you see. This which thing is the cockpit, the main chunk. Oh, oh this thing's going to be awesome. Of the, of this... the bat wing. Go ahead. There you go. Oh, okay, guys. There you go. There you go. All right. Now you do that. I'll keep remove digging it from the plastic here. Brandon, I'm so excited that we're doing this together. Chris, this I, is special for me. I think we should work together more often. I think we should too. I think that the chemistry is undeniable. We love each other. Oh. Oh man, this is. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. Holy. Look, and it's like weathered already. You know what I mean? Like, like this bat wing. You, it's it's seen some action, and I love that. I haven't seen the movie yet, obviously, like you have, which I'm incredibly jealous about. But are you ready to see this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, maybe. No, 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 no. Are you ready to see these wings? Look at this. Oh man. Oh, I got it. Look at this. It's huge. Okay. All right. This, well, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, so far, I'm, I'm impressed. Look at that. It's huge. That thing is. And it's the I do really like the weathering on it. It looks like it's been flying through like rain and getting damaged. Mm -hmm. No, oh, it looks wow. great. So you just pop that on there. Let's pop it That's on. That's it. Okay, let's. I don't want to break it. I don't want to break <laughs> it. We shouldn't hear. We do have. Well, we're gonna have to. Oh, look at that. Oh well, you can't really see it because there's a. Hold on, hold on, just a second. I'm hold on. I'm holding. Oh, is this the platform? Oh, it comes with a card. There you go. Nice. Batwing card. Look okay, we've got a collectible oh, Batwing card wow. right here for the multiverse figures. A little collectible card with it. Okay. Um, 
That's a wall mount. It gets drilled into the wall. That's a wall mount? Yeah. Oh, man, that's I awesome. think it can keep it standing up, but I think it also can function as a wall now, mount. Now, this is and uh, this is actually a little bit more, like, this is closer to the actual Batman symbol from the Michael Keaton Batman movies. Oh, yeah. Not the 89 symbol, because we're, 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 we don't have these little... These little divots here. There was extra divots in that movie, but this is definitely the Batman Returns symbol. Yes. And they also, it. I mean, the, the, the Michael Keaton Batman in The Flash might not just be a direct continuation. Don't be telling movies. me that now. Yeah, I'm don't, not sure. Don't I'm not tell sure. me that. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, I've seen, I have those movies I will memorized. Zip my mouth. Right in. <laughs> How many comicbook.com hosts does it take to put together a Batwing? Two. Just one if you hadn't been here. Oh, oh, snap. Look at that. It's in there. Oh, God. This thing. This thing. Todd. Dude, that's Todd, sick. this is this is massive. I have to put this thing in my garage. All right, here. Let's put these... these uh... Let's see. Boom. First try. We got it left and right. There we go. Oh, man. I, I love there's, this. There's, I believe this is going to be on this side. Look at that. Okay, uh, one more piece, and then we're fully assembled. Where is it? Right in here. So in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces that have to be put together, plus the, the stand, which there's screws in the box for the stand, so you can put it on the wall. Okay, get this last piece in so I can oh, start playing with There it is. That. Oh, man. Look at this. And so you can look right here. There's literally anchors and you can, screws. To you can it. like just fly this down, Joker. Just taking out his his big lo extra long revolver. Just <laughs> take it. <laughs> up. Now, is there an actual stand that? Yeah, you this can... is it. This okay, is it. so it can be both a wall mount. Yeah, you can take and this a stand. and put it in the wall. So there we go. Oh, okay, let me clear this out so we can see it really nicely. Okay. This, okay, I think, this, I think it looks put like... The, the other way, don't you? No, I think it's this way. Okay. I mean, we could do it like, we where, could turn it more the towards the camera here. There's probably caps in here somewhere for it. Let me see. Let yeah, me it looks... Here, actually, Let's how about see. you hold it up wow, since you're so sweet. much taller than me? Well, I think we... No, they, we, do they... Is it... Oh, no, 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 no. No, Is it these? Yes. That's what it's... That's where they sit. There we go. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Dude, that thing is cool. Dude, that's beautiful. Here, let's move. So for two forty nine ninety nine, I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty dope. I will say, having seen the movie, and if you've seen the trailers, this is not a spoiler. There's a little bit missing here. Wait, hold on a second. I haven't seen the trailers. Well, uh, this is okay. Well, I'm just kidding. Ears, just, I'm kidding. You can talk about I it. I gotta point out a detail here because if you look at this, which the cockpit opens up, which is dope. Let's see how do I open this up without. Oh, there we go. There look at that. Oh, that's cool. But in the movie, there is an opening behind this for two, there's two more seats and it can rotate and stuff. Oh. And that's where the flashes sit behind Keaton uh, at several points in the film. And that, I think maybe for scale, they were just like, we can't make it that big or something. Yeah. Um, but also if this is more based on the Keaton Batman movies, maybe he didn't have that in those movies. This is an incredibly detailed vehicle based off the Batwing featured in the Flash movie. Uh, it's designed to fit up to a 7-inch scale DC Multiverse figure, which, as we spoke about earlier, is awesome. Uh, the Batwing features retractable landing gear. There's retractable landing gear. You can see, also, it has a clear bottom on the cockpit, too, which is cool. Yeah, so... You'll be able if, to see the, your figures. And it's like going glass-bottom fishing. Oh, here we go. Retractable landing gear. Oh, right here. that's awesome. Look at that. Here we go. There is it with the landing gear out. You can see it right there. It's all coming. Okay. Okay, now. All right, Chris, go catch it. Look at that. You don't. <laughs> don't you destroy this beautiful thing. I've never seen Chris move so fast. Oh, that was awesome. Uh, Let's see if it could fly. No. <laughs> I'm taking this thing home. That is cool, man. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do know if a, I'm taking it home, but. Do you have a Keaton multiverse figure or like a Batman? I no, I, ha I mean, I have lots of Batman figures. So you're going to put one in there. But I don't have the Keaton multiverse figure. So in your opinion, mm -hmm. as the huge Keaton Batman fan, yes. I, I love Keaton Batman. I am going to defer to you on this because I know you are a bigger fan of Keaton's Batman he's than I am. Batman. He's the best wow. Batman. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's, he's the really Batman. good. You... He's really good. Well, I mean, the, the Batman. He's is, the Batman. I mean, that's a, that's a movie. Yeah, I know. And should have had Keaton. 
But in any case, for two forty nine ninety nine, uh-huh. as a huge fan of Keaton's Batman, yes, is this fair? Is this where you want it? I think two fifty is a fair price for it, especially like when you see like what people are paying for Legos these days. Oh yeah, this is I, a that, good, that's this what is I was a, thinking as well. This is a good price, and for, yeah, it's got great detail. It's got a good size. It's, yeah. I mean, it's it's it's, really... it's an investment, but it's a I mean, it's a conversation starter. This thing is huge. The if fact, you, yeah. That, if you hang this on your wall, somebody is going to bring it up when mm-hmm. they come over. And the fact that it fits a multiverse figure is a really nice touch. Just look I do at think, it. I'm curious it's if it's beautiful. to scale with the multiverse figure, or if it's a little bit smaller than it would be, but I don't know how you make this thing bigger. And no, well, it says a 7-inch figure, so... Sure. I, well, I, I know a 7-inch figure will fit in there, but I mean, like, is that to scale? Like, if a 7-inch if a figure oh, is, yeah. like, a 1-8th scale or 1-7th scale, whatever... Right. Uh, figure of what the human being size is. Is this a one seventh scale? I don't know. I, I don't guess know. there's only it's one close, certainly close. way to find out, and that's if Todd sends us some action figures to try this out with. <laughs> I respect the hustle. I uh, look at that thing. It looks great on the camera. It really does. Wow, look it's at huge. it. It's really cool. Um, it's lightweight. Like I'm not very strong, but I'm holding this up no problem. I'm never gonna be able to touch the thing again because you're never gonna let it go. Probably not. Wow. Well, that's cool. That's awesome. And I like how this has a little bit of a slant to it too. The uh, the stand. Has a little bit of a stance, uh, a slant. So when you look put at it, it, like you can really like uh, go up close again. Check, check it. I mean, look, this weathering. That's ah, a nice touch. It really is. Like it, it's so well done, and you expect nothing less from McFarland toys anyway. I mean, because the detail in those figures are always impeccable. Mm-hmm. I just, I'm, I'm, I love what McFarland toys does with their are action your figures. Guns? But is that this, your machine gun right there? Do I? I mean, probably. Maybe. They don't. I don't think they shoot anything out, though. Well, no, mm. no. All right. Well, I mean, this look been, at that thing. This has been awesome. Yeah, this I, has been cool. Yeah. Look at the detail in the cockpit too. Actually, we have not. You know, talked about that. another thing that I love about the cockpit. Can show I just the, show can the I cockpit. say yes? Let's let's spin this around so you can see inside the cockpit. Look at that. The other thing that I love about the cockpit is the fact that these stickers come on already. Do you, do you remember the action figures where you would get them oh, and yeah. the stickers would not be on there and then you mess them up and uh, yeah you just like you need side, a squeegee to put them on on the side in there too like if you flip it up all the way uh, you can look at see it that. yes there's tons of details yeah in the there's cockpit so too. much detail that looks really good. Yeah, and I, I love that it comes with it yeah, yeah you don't exactly. have to put these stickers on because when you get the stickers you got to put them on yourself and there's little bubbles oh yeah like oh, I said you need a squeegee it. to get them out nah, it's terrible it's like a it's like a phone cover that just never yeah is and perfect. I really and I am because of the retractable landing gear uh, it's awesome that you can sort of you can use the stand if you'd like, but you don't have to. All right, y'all, subscribe to the comicbook.com channel on YouTube. Head over to comicbook.com slash DC for more updates. The Flash is right around the corner, and this is probably, I don't know what they're going to have that could be better than this in terms of merch from that movie. So this is awesome. Uh, Thanks for watching, everybody.